for the truth of girls. Hey everyone, it's Sonia here. My son is getting ready to go to camp tomorrow. I've got a lot of um, packing and laundry to do and I just needed a boost so I figured I'll share this awesome uh, Sephora haul that I did with you guys. First of all, let me take a hit off my pod. When you do your makeup, you need to be in the right state of mind. I didn't buy that much. It's a mini haul. But what I did get is number one, my hourglass foundation. If you're over 40, starting to get those little lines, makeup just doesn't look like it used to. It's either dry and cakey, makes you look like the Crypt Keeper, or it's too oily, it slides off, whatever. It doesn't give you good coverage, but if it gives you coverage, it's like you got a pancake on your face. Well, this here has been the answer to all my midlife makeup problems. This little magic stick right here. Not kidding you. This stuff is so good. This stuff, I mean, I have it on already right now. That's why my lips look all, like all the blood has been drained from my face. It's because I have foundation on my lips. This stuff, it makes your pores look smaller, but there's no cakiness. It doesn't highlight the lines. It just gives the most amazing coverage. It covers all the redness, all the unevenness. So this is the thing. And one stick like this lasts me like a year. So here's what else I got in the woods. This is like a black brown. I'm going to use that one. And then I have two light ones. One is ballet slippers. I think it, this is ballet. Yeah, ballet shoes and a blonde ambition. Now look, here's the thing. Philosophically, people say, don't worry about how you look. You look fine. You don't need makeup. Don't worry about getting older. It does. I'm going to stop right there because that's all just bullshit. But the basic idea is you don't want to get sent to the meat grinder. If they see that you look washed up and you don't fix yourself, and you, it's just underneath psychologically people are like, eh, she's finished, send her to the meat grinder. So this, here's what you have to do to avoid getting sent to the meat grinder because it's not a nice place to be. Life happens and there are things in life that could get you sent to the meat grinder. I mean, for example, you know there's this app lately everyone's talking about. It's an app that makes you look old. And they're all freaking out because it was made by Russians, which I don't understand because all the apps are invasive to your privacy. They all go into some kind of central data collection database. They're owned by like many people from many different countries. So why is this one different? Because it's the Russians. You know, I don't get it. Like, it's OK to give your data to the Chinese, but not the Russians. I mean, really, I think that they're just putting a lot of attention on it, probably to get your attention off the fact that, uh, you know, the CIA is collecting your data just from what you put on Facebook. Personally, I don't have a smartphone. See, I just have this, so I don't use the app. And moreover, I don't need to use the app to find out what I'm going to look like old because just homeschooling an autistic child, having thyroid issues and trying to go through menopause without HRT pretty much gave me the same result. I got to see within, okay, it wasn't five minutes, but it was like five years. I got to see what I would look like, you know, 20 years older. But since, you know, I have the natural version of the app in full force 24 seven, um, I do have to take precautions to not get sent to the meat grinder. So let's see what we can do with this makeup. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. Whew. You know, honestly, like I did get some comments. Sometimes people say, oh, Sonia looks so much older. You know what? I'll let you in on a little secret. I looked old before. It was just the lighting and the makeup. There, just blew my cover. I mean, reality is I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I mean, what do you expect me to do, get younger? Plus, I'm like almost 50, so let's get real, you know. I'm not gonna start looking like I'm 25. Although, actually, I do have a few tricks. I might be able to roll it back to 35, and that'll make you happy. First thing is, get this thing open. How does this, you know, that's the problem. It's it's hard to use makeup if you're stupid, you know, because <laughs> you can't even get it open. This is why exactly why tutorials are good, because then you don't have to try to figure it out. You can let somebody like me figure out how to open the darn jar. Ah, oh, no, that's not it. How is this possible? Oh, there we go. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking maybe I'll put my lipstick on first so that I stop traumatizing you, because I know you're looking at me, you're like, oh my God, Sonia looks like a zombie. Do something about those lips, please. Let's put that, a stop to that right now. This is the color I got. It's called Dark Nude. 
I don't like a heavily made up look. I feel like I look like I'm in drag, so. You know, that's the other thing about wearing makeup. It's not just about you getting sent to the meat grinder. It's about other people getting sent to the emotional meat grinder. I mean, it's hard for people to look at you when you look faded and wrinkled because they, they're just like, oh my God, what happened? You know, it just, it screws up, it screws with their heads. And then they're like, oh my God, is it gonna happen to me? Let's get rid of the drama. Like stop making people think about you getting old, them getting old. Just make life easy, just look good, okay? That's it. All right, so there's my new lipstick. I hope YouTube doesn't censor me for that because I know like nudity and stuff, but I mean, it's only lipstick YouTube. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, my palette here and I have a brush. You know, I did experience my, like the prime of my youth in the 90s when we actually just used our fingers. This was like in the old days where people didn't make a whole big deal about putting their makeup on. So my natural instinct is actually to just stick my finger in there and smear it on, which you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do it. 90s style. Okay, check it out. It's a little bit of shimmer there. Oh my God, this again? What? Ah. All right, and so here's the dark one. Ooh, pretty good. Okay, so now that I got that happening, I need some mascara. I mean, yes, it's very simple, but seriously, I have a lot of laundry to do. It's not like I got all day for this. I just don't wanna get sent to the meat grinder. Okay, so the next thing is the mascara. This stuff is incredible. I mean, I think it's really like the best mascara I've ever had. Look at the eye with versus without. It's called Better Than Sex. Please, YouTube, it's only mascara. I need another vape after that. Ooh, I'm not even done. I still gotta do the other eye. Ah, that was good. Oh, I got another thing because it was my birthday. I got, this is a free gift, which includes a liquid liner. Oh, what's this? Setting powder, translucent setting powder. It's shiny, but seriously, it's so hot right now. I don't need shiny powder. But I mean, I could use it if I wanted to look extra sweaty. Ooh, it's like a pen. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Whew, it's melting already. Okay, the only other thing I would need is to fill in my eyebrows a bit. I'm gonna go for in the woods. I'm gonna be the best looking woman in the laundromat. So that's it, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you don't like the way I look, instead of leaving shitty comments, why don't you hit me up on Patreon, send me money so I can get plastic surgery. I mean, why don't you just make yourself part of the solution instead of part of the problem? So thanks everybody for uh, watching. Thanks for your support on Patreon. So, you know, and I'll see you next time.